In this next few minutes, I will show you how to enable your recurrent subscription payments using the PayPal in a very easy way. First of all, I'm going to sign in directly here into my PayPal or look in directly into PayPal business account. If you don't have one yet, you'll need to upgrade or create a business account to access the subscription feature. So for that, I can focus here into this upper side into the right section assist my name and go for profile or account settings. Inside your account settings, you see that here we can check out what is the actual account type that I currently have. If you don't see, for example, the section that says uh, account preferences, you usually have the account type. Into the account type, I can hit into the option that says update and go for business. Once you have your business already been added and downloaded, you should see that here we have this element that says home, activity, pay and get paid. Now we have the business tools here into the right section. Now, this business tools can be helping us to take payments without a website. We can make subscriptions, point of sale, more recommendations, request money, PayPal checkout, send payments, and so much more using the PayPal business. Now, once you have now this element, we can create a new subscription. So if you click here into subscription, I can go into the focus says get started. Here you will fill out details like your subscription name, the billing enable, monthly, weekly, etc., and the amount that would be charged. So we can offer subscription plans to your customer for a more stable and protection income. So if I get into next, get subscription insights to know what delays your customer and what we offer next. And here, as you can see, we can create our very first subscription product, create a subscription plan, and ready to set go. If you wanted to use your PayPal account for um, some multi subscriptions you wanted to focus on, for example, Disney Plus, you want to focus on Star Plus, Paramount Plus, just by easily just adding your PayPal directly into the payment elements of the website you want to use to get started, that will be just as easy as it is. But if you are the one who's going to be creating a subscription product, then this is the part where we wanted to go for. Uh, let's get started. Now, tell us about the subscription product you wanted to offer. Let's say, for example, that this is loyalty subscription. And product description, this is for people who are into the loyalty pack membership. There we go. Now the product ID, you can just enable your product ID. For example, you can add uh, five to 50 characters without spaces. So for example, let's go for loyal pro. And product type, usually this is for example, this is a physical good digital goods or serviced. Let's enable services, for example. Now into the entity category, you can look out for entertainment or depending on what is the element you are actually looking for. Now, where will your customers find the subscription product on your website? So here I'm going to be adding the product page URL. I'm going to open any type and go for sites.google.com, a place where I have a current website created totally for free. Now inside here, this Google sites, I'm going to select my website. I'm going to look out here for copy the link, copy link, and I paste my product page URL. Now, what's the URL for the description product images? So usually, for example, let's go here down and you can use exactly the same image if you want to. You can use exactly the same URL, but I can totally just to try to look out for a specific plan there. Now, this is the part where I can choose the description product you wanted to offer. Now, usually you don't have a description product here. So you can go for creating a new subscription product and then you can see that here is going to be selected here, the subscription product that select it and go for next. Now choose the kind of product and plan which you would like to offer. If this one is a volume prices, which you can just offer to describe your definite price for all the units within a range based on the quantity of subscribers chosen. You can charge subscribers the same price each billing cycle based on the plan the subscriber chooses, or charge subscribers the same price each billing cycle based on the quantity the subscribers chooses. So let's say, for example, I choose quantity price. Next. And here is the plan name. My plan name should be, let's say, for example, basic plan. And plan description, this is for people who are getting started and define the pricing of the subscription plan. This is totally optional. This is totally up to you. You can charge a one time setup fee if you want to or offer a trial period. For example, price per item. Let's say that this is zero every one days and here's one cycle. 
Now, a limited billing cycle is price per item. Let's go for $4 every one month. I don't want to calculate taxes and I want to miss the billing cycles. And if you want to turn out a billing of outstanding payments, you can enable this or you can charge monthly. Now, let's keep now into next. And here's the review and of my loyalty plan. The product, the plan, the plan name, the pricing, the trial period, and the subscription period. Now, if you're okay with it, you can just go for turn the plan on or save the asset draft so you can check out later how it actually looks here into your drafts. Then I can go here for turn on the plan. So my plan is now being active here. And once you have checked out here, you can see the where are the active subscriptions, how many people are subscribed, how many people have made the unpaid and the paid, and you can check out the subscription plans, the overview of those plans, and as customers sign up for subscription plans, you will instantly see highlights and product trendings and much more. This is a really easy way of how you can actually manage your subscriptions here in the PayPal. Once again, if you wanted or intended to use your to use PayPal to use your account to go for recurrent billings into other accounts, then just as easy as to just use the email as well as the passcode and automatically it's gonna be making the billing with no problem though. So with that being said guys, this is how we can actually create a basic plan directly in them. This is as you can see it is not the hot. So just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And hopefully with these elements, we can see you next time.